Hi, this is George Cao. Welcome back to the LinkedIn course. Today I'm going to show you in this short video how to manage your LinkedIn notifications so that you can do it more efficiently. So once you log into your LinkedIn account, you should, uh, if you're on the home screen, you should see your name and profile photo up here. The notification is, is this flag here. Sometimes you'll see a red number if you haven't moved your mouse over it in some time. And there's some new notifications that the red number will show up. But right now, I've, I've just, uh, I just looked at this before this making this video, so there's no red number there. But uh, this will be sorted by the notifications that happened most recently. So here, uh, what does this mean? This person just joined LinkedIn as a connection. You can ignore things like this. This is basically when you import uh, some of your contacts into LinkedIn, but you don't add them yet because there's two steps when you import email addresses into LinkedIn. Uh, you import them and then you can add them. Uh, in this case, I, I imported Arthur and didn't add him. Uh, so if I wanted to add him, I would click on this and then I would be able to connect. Uh, this, this second one, it says eight people viewed your profile. Um, if you are really active on LinkedIn, you might actually want to see who viewed your profile and, and if it's like a prospective client or a prospective business partner, you can go and contact them. And so for example, I might click here and when I click here, I, I'm on the section that says who's viewed your profile and basically um, if I scroll down, this first section I would ignore. It's basically what LinkedIn suggests that I do, but it's, some of this stuff is really, I, I don't think it's Honestly, I don't think it's that, that helpful. Um, so I would scroll down and this is actually the, these are the people who viewed my profile. Now, because I have a free LinkedIn account, I can only view, um, let's see, one, two, three, four people who viewed my profile. Uh, I think five actually, this person happens to be anonymous, but, uh, but that's okay. I mean, I, you know, don't, I, I would say, unless you are a recruiter or an HR person um, or you use LinkedIn, every single day and you get tons of business from it. I mean, it's it's probably not worth upgrading. Sorry, LinkedIn, uh, but I'm still using it for free. I do love LinkedIn, but anyway, you can get up to four people who viewed your profile. I think that's probably enough. If you check back on LinkedIn often enough, you'll be this will be fine for you. So let's say I'm looking at this and um, uh, nothing is really jumping out immediately. Maybe this person is a potential colleague you know, referral partner or something like that. Um, but when I hover over these people, notice that uh, I move my mouse over here, nothing happens, I move my mouse over here, seven. So see, so so that's that makes it more interesting to say, well, this is a, a potential colleague, you know, referral partner or so, something. Uh, this is basically the seven connections that I have that she also has at the same time. So right, we, we both share seven first degree connections and you can see who these people are here. So if I wanted to connect with her, I can click that uh, or I can go to her profile first and you know uh, choose to connect from here after reading some of this stuff and, and maybe sending a more uh, thoughtful connection message, something like that. Um, okay, so anyway, let's go on to other things here. Um, uh, TM commented on my update. That's great. Thank you, TM. Likes my update. Uh, published a new post. Okay, so here's okay. Here's the thing I really want to sh show you that I think will be really efficient. You might be getting a lot of notifications about how your connections have published a new post, and maybe most of the posts that your connections publish are not relevant for you. You know, because you're not in the same industry, right? So, for example, this one. Um, you know, I don't really work with. CEOs per se. I work with small business owners, but that's not the same as CEOs of like software companies or medium larger companies. So I, I would want to unsubscribe probably from this person's um, update. So I would click X here. Okay. And it says, do I want to unsubscribe from his article updates? And I click unsubscribe. So that way, in the, as I keep doing this, unsubscribing from, okay, three people are following me now. That's wonderful. If I click on this, um, It'll show me who my followers are. Interestingly, I can see what what seniority level they have in their business industries that they have. Um, you know, most of my followers, I guess, are, are coaches because those are my ideal client audience. Uh, these are my new followers. I can go and and check them out or connect with them, et cetera, et cetera. So, um, but I was saying that if you um, unsubscribe from people's updates that probably aren't in the same industry as you uh, that may, maybe aren't relevant for you 
um, you'll make your notifications experience much better because then you'll be able to see things that you actually might want to read or you know are is relevant for you or your your colleagues or your clients. Um, you know this person is probably in a similar industry that I'm in. Uh, so let's go to let me show you some more here. This person endorsed me. That's very nice. If I had some more time, I might go and uh, endorse that person. Um, so uh, let's see. I, I want to unsubscribe from this person. It's updates. Okay. So basically, that's that's all. I mean, you you basically want to come into your notifications on a regular basis. People are interacting with you, endorsing you, uh, liking your stuff. You might want to you know viewing your profile. So you might want to go and as an active networker. As someone who is building up your connections, you might want to go and thank them or like something they wrote, comment on something they wrote, that kind of thing. Okay, so um, I hope that's helpful, and I'm always open to your questions and your comments. Be well.